let's say you have a rat or a rodent problem and you need to get rid of the rat well for regular size rats I do recommend this rat trap it's very common uh, the original rat trap by Victor um, I've used it and it has been very effective one thing I would do with it to make it more effective is I would use what this is is basically a twist tie from like a um, trash bags or even like from bread and I'll turn this into something that looks like that just kind of like twist it together into like two maybe three different little hose and then I'll use peanut butter any kind works put it inside these little hose so that it holds on to it and place it like so right here on the bait hook with the peanut butter should fold over and look a little bit like that. So, again, I got this into about three little hoops, as you can see. It doesn't have to be pretty. Just gotta encase it in any kind of peanut butter. These has, this one has chunks, but uh, it could be all the smooth, creamy one too. That's all good. Another way to create like this little bit would be if you uh, heard of lacing wire and have any laying around, you could just kind of like tie it into a lot of little loops and um, create like a little like waffle ball that kind of looks like a um, like a protein shake uh, ball if you catch my drift. And just make sure that is on there. Kind of fold it over back on itself a bit. And if you're so concerned that the uh, rat is going to probably take, um, is smart enough to pull it back. Another thing you could do is you can see there's this like little gap on this right here. You could just kind of pinch that down a bit. So now we see there's like almost no gap right there. On this one, you could see it's a little bit more pronounced right there. Oh yeah, and before I forget, Another modification you could do with this uh, trap to make it more multi-species is to run, like what I did here, a wire across that little gap right here. Because sometimes just make sure that it doesn't come down and hit the top of uh, the little um, trigger pad right here because... I've used rat traps before and sometimes field mice come in and they'll trigger it and they just won't catch and won't kill them with at the kill bar. Or sometimes, you know, you'll go there and you'll find like their tail is pinched behind here and you see a little mouse just trying to run around while its tail is kind of pinched there. So this is a good way to turn this trap um, to make a awesome trap even more awesome to make this multi-species, not just a, a rat trap, but a mice trap as well. Cut off a wire, probably about, I would say, about almost twice the length of uh, the width, I mean, of the trap. Try to do this on camera, so it's gonna be a little tricky.
open that up go right behind it about equal distance on each side and then you just fold it back inside like so same thing on the other side fold in like so and to keep this from sliding up or down um, I like to tend to coil these around the kill bar like that's good enough on that side so we're gonna do this side So just like that, so another good thing is you could actually do a third wire from this right here to actually just stabilize and keep it from slipping, but I'm not that concerned. right there seems like this uh, offset setting that I have here and down here actually keeps it from sliding a whole lot better than having both coils on the same side. So take that a note. All right, let you guys know later. So let's say you tried the rat traps, the traditional ones, and uh, they're just too big or else they're like ground squirrels or something <clears throat> or like some very big uh, rats that the Victor rat traps or that design doesn't seem to kill. Here's another option you guys have and this is very effective. It works even um, like gray squirrels it works on. Because the state that I used to hunt, that small game laws are sedated that uh, you could actually, if you hold a small game like for squirrel or and rabbit uh, hunting license, you could actually hunt or trap them. So what I have found out that was very effective um, actually comes from trapping. So this is what is called a conibear uh, trap. And this has one spring on it you could get the one with dual spring but it's probably a little bit of overkill um, this is made by duke and i believe it's the duke uh 110s magnums because when they close the jaws actually close shut all the way so i like them because you know more of a killing power plus uh, a tighter close so there's uh two things i did to modify this trap and they're all right here at the trigger. Um, when you buy this brand new, 
uh, you could expect this the two prongs here to actually be straight so these are just two straight prongs that trappers usually kind of just bend them outward into like a, this shape right here um, for our purposes for rat trapping groundhog or chickmunk or whatever uh, I bent this out you could see both of these 90 degrees outward with pair of pliers it's not that hard you just kind of grip onto it and bend it both of them and then the second is again like I said just throw some kind of very small wire on there you could see this one has a bunch of loops on there and this is the uh, the lacing wire that I was talking about because if you use the bigger wires they're a little bit harder to kind of work with and they're not as um, they're too stiff and they're not as flexible as this as you could kind of see so an animal like let's say a rat or a squirrel or whatever will try to grab this and pull on it and that will set the trap off and I'll show you a picture of uh, one that I actually caught my cardboard um, at the end of this video but this is basically how you set this up and again peanut butter on here I might as well set it up so uh, and see how it does but I already have three of these out in the carport and so far nothing's uh, taken them so I believe the rats in there are gone or I, I literally saw one rat it was a field rat wood rat that was looking at me and uh, kind of freaked out set four or five of these up and then caught him like the night that night so so for this again grab a pinch of peanut butter set that aside once you got this loop right here it's all good you just gotta it's like playing with play-doh just gotta stack it on just like so And then with this, the killing power, the spring power, is this. When you pinch them close, you could bring these two apart. And then once they set off the trigger, it's going to open up. And it's basically like a scissor motion. So this one is relatively easy to actuate the spring. You just got to press on it then this hand could pinch that and I believe this thing is called the dog and that don't like don't mistake and like uh, you know put it on the bar it has to go right there in the middle so not to the side but right there in the middle so that when anything touches this boom that comes flying off and the spring does its thing and comes comes down and crushes the critter so here I got this barbecue right here right next to me and um, it's in the carport <clears throat> you know I expect it to track rodents if there's any and this will uh, take care of them so this will not really work for mice because they're just too small but I've had them work on like very very large rats and even squirrels you got to be careful because these things even though it's kind of you can see my hand kind of covers this up I got medium size to large hands and I've accidentally you know caught rabbit in this trap not just once but twice so, you got to be careful that way. And there's three settings on this one. That one, it's uh, tighter, so it's a little bit harder to set off, but the kill um, power on this, since the spring's being compressed, 
a lot is more than the middle or the uh, the least least uh, power but more sensitive setting but I like to use the, about the middle one middle one is good all right once that is on there you know once you hold it like that you know it's safe I uh, could slowly let go keeping my thumb on that dog and I know it's safe and then another thing I like to do is bend this down a bit so when I set it down on the ground it has something to kind of support it and just like any trap you know, set it up run it along the uh, right along the walls so that they could come from either side from either that side or this side and it's gonna go off and uh, get them and yes this trap is actually strong enough to kill like medium-sized cats too not like a mancoon or anything but like homegrown medium-sized cats so be very careful where you set this up if you have a small dog like a chihuahua or cats they like peanut butter too so be very careful